This summer, Europe is all about sports, with millions of viewers tuning in for Euro 2016, the Tour de France and the Olympics. These are three of the biggest sports events in the world, and thanks to satellite technology, they're brought straight to the living rooms of viewers worldwide. Although the use of satellites for television broadcast is nothing new, with current advances in satellite technology, the quality and accessibility has much increased. In the past, only major broadcasters and sports events could afford access to satellite technology. Now it's available to smaller clubs and events as well. A pilot project supported by the European Space Agency ESA allowed third division Italian football clubs to broadcast their games online via satellite technology and a web streaming service called SportTube. People can follow their favorite team on their computers or their mobile devices. For these applications, bandwidth is a crucial element. The broadcast bandwidth is our daily concern. We may compare it to the flow of water from a tap. A lower water flow corresponds to a low bandwidth. A higher water flow corresponds to a larger band. The information we send to the satellites is converted into bits, the basic piece of information. A phone call needs a few thousand bits per second, whereas the TV pictures in high definition or sports images that are extremely more complex require millions, sometimes billions of bits per second. Imagini di sport che sono estremamente più complesse richiedono milioni e alle volte anche miliardi di bit al secondo. To allow for cheaper but higher bandwidth communication, the new satellite systems are making use of the KA band. The higher bandwidth is also a game-changer when it comes to quality. With the arrival of high-definition television broadcast, resolution has changed dramatically and quadrupled the amount of pixels. This increase in pixels has meant an increase in quality, but also to an increase of data bits that had to be transmitted. The next step forward is the transmission of ultra-high-definition broadcasts. This will provide viewers with a cinema-like picture quality. But ultra-high definition broadcast is only the tip of the iceberg. The broadcasting and satellite industry are constantly improving their technology and in future hope to offer viewers a truly immersive experience. In the future, we expect to multiply the number of cameras, the points of capture of images, from the player's point of view, for instance. We can, via cameras that will be installed on the player's shirts, for example, really live the game not only having a vision of the match, but being in it and being able to increase the number of experiences, ways of watching and experiencing a sporting moment. World-changing technologies in a changing world. Today, broadcast television is in a transitional stage. Classic broadcast relies on technology to improve the viewing experience, while new media delivers smaller events and sports to millions of viewers via the Internet. But whether it's the broadcast of the Olympics, Euro 2016, or a game between two local football or volleyball teams, none of these would be possible without satellite technology and the improvements made over the years by ESA and the industry.